Welcome you all. In this video, we will see FR filter design using rectangular window. The rectangular window function is given by WR of n which is equal to 1 if n ranges between 0 to n minus 1, 0 elsewhere. Or WR of n is equal to 1 if n ranges from minus n minus 1 by 2 to n minus 1 by 2. 0 elsewhere. The rectangular window sequence is represented like this for capital N is equal to 21. Here it is ranging from minus n minus 1 by 2 to n minus 1 by 2 that is from minus 10 to 10. Other regions the value will be equal to 0. When you are taking the log magnitude response of a rectangular window, here the width of the main lobe is equal to 4 pi by n and we are having more side lobes. The peak side lobe magnitude in terms of dB it is equal to minus 13 dB. When we are using rectangular window the ideal response of the filter will be like this but in real cases the response will be oscillating in the pass band as well as in the stop band. This oscillations or ringing is generated because of side lobes in the frequency response of the window function. This oscillatory behavior it is called as Gibbs phenomenon. Now we will see the procedure to design a fair filter using rectangular window. First we are going to choose the desired frequency response of the filter that is HD of omega. Next. We are going to obtain the desired impulse response HD of n from the frequency response HD of omega by taking the inverse Fourier transform. HD of n is given by 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to pi. HD of e power j omega that is the desired frequency response multiplied by e power j omega n into d omega. Next we have to choose the window in sequence. Here we are going to choose the rectangular window. The rectangular window is given by WR of n which is equal to 1 if it n lies between 0 to n minus 1. 0 elsewhere. Now we are going to convert infinite duration impulse response to finite duration impulse response. For that we are going to multiply infinite impulse response by a window. So it will be converted to a finite impulse response. Now the transfer function of the filter is obtained by taking the Z transform of the finite impulse response H of n. Now we can realize the filter using suitable realization. Either we can go with direct form or with linear phase realization. For this realization we are using adders, multipliers and delay elements. Thank you for watching this video.